Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to part two of the Serie A 6 Silent Assassin Suit Only Fireball I Only Run. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244. But before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed and hitting that bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Now, we've had a lot of uh, good feedback from the first part, and hopefully, uh, you will enjoy part two a lot more than the first one because this one was a lot more challenging than the first three uh, Serie A 6 contracts. But first up, we've got coming for you guys here is Bangkok. So let's go. Good afternoon, 47. Welcome to Bangkok. I have the fourth profile available now. Your target is John Stubbs, a retired mercenary and former member of Sigma. He is on holiday in Bangkok with his wife, but our background information indicates she is unaware of his past. The contract stipulates no actions with regard to her, so proceed at your discretion. This target is no longer active, having retired with a substantial fortune in offshore bank accounts. Our intelligence has been unable to turn up the source of this wealth, only that it is substantial enough to provide the target with a life of luxury. Hotel records indicate they will remain here for at least a week. One other VIP is in residence, so expect a heightened security presence. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. The target and his wife arrived earlier today, and hotel records indicate they will remain here for at least a week. One other VIP is in residence, so expect a heightened security presence. So this is our fourth target, the veteran at the Sarajevo 6. He is in Bangkok, and I have to say this is probably the most annoying one for me when trying to get this strategy down. Purely because doing the silent assassin suit only with a, just the fireball wires is very very tricky for this target and no matter what you do it's uh, very inconsistent what happens anyway but he will spawn in random locations uh, in this map and he will be uh, walking around overall outside and it's, it's very misleading the briefing videos because the briefing videos of all the Sarajevo 6 missions show that they're in walking around in different areas and that's just simply not the case if that was the case, then it would be much. These targets would be a lot more better, but because the, he's around public areas and there's so many eyeballs on you, it's very, very tricky to maneuver him where you want him to go. But the way I did it is I bumped into him here at the bar, and then I dropped down the coin, and then picked it up and threw it at the top of the stairs. I'm just trying to get him to an area where we can get him by himself. Now this might not always work because it's very inconsistent with the amount of people around someone else could be distracted easily by this you could try using the phone if you wanted to i'd tried it but i found the coin to be a little bit more consistent with this base but as soon as he goes to pick it up i uh, knock into him again and then drop the coin and throw it again i make sure to walk away because he does sometimes tend to walk up to you and say hey what are you doing and you know, there's a trash can right there and all that kind of stuff he keeps doing that and it's very annoying that's why i tend to try and break the eye line of sight and when he does finally come into this area, we're going to make sure that um, the two hotel staff members there don't see this kill. I did have some problems with uh, seeing through wall glitch happening here. It can be a little bit annoying, but now we've got to need to do is hide the body like I've been doing in the previous videos. And I will be continuing to do that for the rest of the targets as well. It's just these two hotel staff members here I need to worry about. I was contemplating actually KOing these two and hiding them, but I think I only have one hiding spot remaining and it's only in here. So once we've put this body in here, we'll only have one spot left. So I thought, now I'll try and risk it, try and lead them. As, as I said in the previous video, this isn't a walkthrough. This is more of a showcase of this little mini campaign that we've got here for the PS4 exclusive contracts. Yeah, like I said, you know, it's not, not a guide. They will still work as guides, but um, especially for this one, it can be very inconsistent. If you want a proper walkthrough for it, I'll leave a drop down and a card at the top of the screen. If you want proper walkthrough for these, I've already covered them on the channel. You can go ahead and check those out. In fact, there's a full playlist of videos. I'll leave the link of that to the top of the uh, of the video there, and I'll leave it in the description as well. 
if you do indeed need walkthroughs for these. Uh, they're a lot more easier than what I'm doing right here. Like I said, with the Silent Assassin, certainly with the Fireball Arrow, it's more of a challenge, really. So I'm not sure if anybody else has done it. I could be completely wrong on that, but um, this is the way I decided to do it. And the reason why I'm walking around is because I wanted to stick to more traditional-wise of the old of style of 47, when he used to just fire eye all his kills and make sure all the bodies are hidden and doing it in just your suit. I mean, you could say, you could argue that the traditional style is using disguises and whatnot, but it's more of a challenge this way, and I wanted to challenge myself for a change. So I thought I'd do it this way. And there was a couple of people commenting about the whole walking thing, but that is why I'm, I'm walking around, because I'm just trying to explain it. It looks more better. This is why I asked in the comment section as well, and on Twitter, whether you wanted me to upload this with commentary or not. But that was the, the, th the fourth one, the veteran, now comes up, is number five from Colorado, the mercenary. Good afternoon, 47. I have the next profile available. Your target is Patrick Morgan, codenamed The Mercenary. He is a former member of the Cicada Deniable Operations Unit Sigma and is an expert in a wide range of combat techniques. His last known operation for Sigma was almost 12 months ago. ICA files indicate that the target met with international environmental terrorist Sean Rose in Luxembourg last winter. It is highly likely that he has been recruited by the militia. We have pinpointed a training facility used by the militia in Colorado and intercepts make it very probable the target is located there. camp is well sighted and defended and your target is a lethal combatant who expects the worst following the mysterious deaths of four of his old unit. Take care 47. I'll leave you to prepare. This is a notorious mercenary. He's our fifth target. He's going to be taking place in Colorado. This one was a, a bit of an annoying one. Why? Because this particular target has four guards surrounding him at all times and they have like a weird ai if you've ever played the mallory misfortune escalation there's this is a there's this stalker guy will be following you around the map so he will see he will know where exactly where you are and he will follow you around the map it's very weird but um they introduced that with that escalation and now if you take that stalker ai and you can combine it with the fact that there's there's four of these surrounding this um <laughs> this Sarajevo 6 target we have got a big issue here this is very very tricky and that's what makes this very tough to do silent assassin suit only doing a silent assassin suit only in any contract that's in Colorado is difficult enough but the fact that we've got to do it in this as well is very very tricky even with the fiber wire as well on top of that it's just a very difficult thing and plus hiding the bodies I forgot about that as well so for this one I brought along an explosive also, I brought along the concealable baton to make knockouts a little bit more easier. Again, we're trying to do this silent assassin suit only, all bodies hidden with the fireball wire, so obviously we're bringing the fireball wire with us, and we're starting at the main entrance. Welcome to Colorado, 47. I can confirm that the target is on site. Everything points to him expecting an assassination, and several groups of militia members appear to be on high alert. Exercise extreme caution, 47. So our main goal is to get into the barn, well not the barn, there's a building opposite the barn and that's the building we need to get into. First I'm going to drop a rubber duck right here, we're going to use this as a distractional device and uh, you'll see why when I come up in a little bit, a little, a little while. So we just need to get past these guards, it's very easy. So we're just going to jump through this window right here in front of us. And what we're actually going to do is circle around, we're actually going to wait for Sean Rose to go, Sean Rose to go past us as well. Again, I don't, I do not recommend doing it this this way. If you really want to actually get this easy, there's a nice easy way of doing it. Again, it's in the playlist. Just check out that one. It's a lot more easier than this because this is just an added challenge. So what I've just done there is waited for the mechanic to finish what he's doing at the front of the van, and then we turned off the generator to move him. Just when Sean Rose goes past with his guard, that is when I explode the duck. It's going to cause panic. And just in a few seconds, when they start moving away, that's when we're going to advance forward into the building what we're facing right now. So we're just waiting for them to move out of the way. They're all going to panic and go into the barn. 
So that's all the guards away from the door. That's where we need to. We need to get into that building there in front of us. So we're going to circle back around now, waiting for the mechanic to go back to his job, which should give us safe passage into this building here to our left. Now, once we're in here, we need to be careful because there's going to be two guards here. We need to wait for them to get into this position that they're in so we can quickly knock them out. And then we're going to drag both bodies and dump them both in the locker. The hard part was just getting in this building. That, see, that's the hard part. That's the hard part out of the way. We really just needed to get into this building and uh, I couldn't really find a better solution than what I just did. I mean, the distractional uh, purpose did work out quite nicely. I think a person outside slightly spotted me, if you know what I mean. Like, he got suspicious and came over to check what he saw. But as long as you're quick enough, you can get in here with that distraction that I used previously. All we have to do now is... It's basically just wait. We just need to wait for the, uh, either Sean Rose is going to come into the room and start washing his hand at the sink in the top left corner of there of our screen. And he does eventually leave. And all the times that I tried doing this in the testing runs and stuff like that, he does come around about the hard four and a half minute mark. Then the target does come in after. Now, while I was waiting here, I was getting a little bit suspicious thinking, you know, well, the target's not moving. I don't understand why he's not moving. But he does eventually come over here. It can take a while. I think really it's random whether when he comes into this place or not. Um, but yeah, I'm not completely sure what the trigger is. But there's Sean Rose. He's going back now to his normal routine. And I expected this. I know expected because you created a distraction, you've kind of messed things up on how the, the sequence is going. That's why I'm assuming he was standing still and not doing anything and not moving. It's because it's triggered by different events that's happening around the map. That is my best guess. So I'm figuring when Sean Rose is all done and he comes in here after the, um, the explosion testing he's doing out back there, he does eventually come in here. So you can wake up, you can wait a considerable amount of time. But if Sean Rose does come in here, just make sure you circle around the table and keep hidden. He does leave, uh, then it'll give you a free passage to get this target. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit to, you know, get things rolling. So for me, Sean Rose didn't actually come in the room. This target come here in here first. And I don't know how much time I actually had. But the target does eventually come in this room. And the problem I had at this point here is that we have no way to hide the body except for outside. And it was just a matter of these two guards are in the way. I know there's a crate out there just behind these guards. And I was <laughs> in this way, I was thinking, okay, Sean Rose is going to enter this room at any moment now. I can't exactly see him on an instinct at the moment. But I know there's a crate out there. I was just begging for these guards to just move out of the way so I can drag this body outside without getting spotted. I'm not sure where all of this target's guards have gone. I think they may have just wander off as soon as he dies, but I'm not sure. But um, now these guards have walked away. That gives us safe passage to drag the body outside and dump him in the crate. And that's how you get him, son. Assassin suit only. All we've got to do now, well, I say all you got to do now, it's still tricky. you just got to head to the exit. Now with the suits only, uh, it's going to be very, very uh, tricky to get out of here. So we're just going to wait for these guards to go past. Everybody's an enforcer, remember. And because it's, it's a hostile area, they can see you a lot faster than you, can, you normally can. If it's a trespassing area, normal times, you know, guards can... The suspicion meter goes up a lot slower than it is in hostile. So these two guards here are always right. facing to the right. So we threw a coin there just to get them to turn around so we can jog it past it. We're going to go back to the way we came. And just make our way using the cover of available to us you don't have to rush too much or anything like that also if you didn't know this before that if the faster you move the faster they can just spot they can just basically spot you you just gotta keep reminding yourself really it's like as soon as the guard gets his eyeballs on you the suspicion bar goes up but most people just panic and just run away but that's going to get you caught. So the best thing really to do is just don't panic and make sure you move. Uh, stay crouched, move slowly, and you're less likely to get spotted. From my experience, anyway. Now, final obstacle is these two guards right here. And also not getting spotted by the camera, that's another thing. So we're just going to use the cover to our advantage again and just crouch around here. And get through the exit. And that is the Son Assassin, suit only, all bodies hidden, fiber wire only, for the mercenary. 
you might think that looks easy but trust me that was very difficult to do but that's how you get the sign assassin suit only for fiber if you want to go that route so moving on is our final target the controller good evening 47 i have the final profile available now your target is tahiji koyama codenamed the controller he is the final living member of the Sigma paramilitary, and with his elimination, a particularly nasty chapter of recent history will be brought to a close. Hospital records indicate the target suffers a rare genetic disease, but also that he has refused two full bone marrow donations on ethical grounds so far. Interesting. Clients at this particular hospital are not usually picky about where their life-extending therapy comes from. While I have confirmed that he has learned of the deaths of the other members of Sigma, he does not seem to have altered his security arrangements or movement patterns in any meaningful way. Regardless, the hospital is highly secure and it will be difficult to move freely. So I'll leave you to prepare. So this is our final target, the controller. For this one, we brought along our disposable scrambler. We have two objectives for this one. We've got to gra grab the intel files, as well as take out our final target of the Sarajevo 6. So hopefully you enjoy this one. Here we go. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. I have received a priority update from the client. He has learned that the Sigma operations files will be destroyed if you are spotted during the operation. Therefore, you should consider acquiring them before moving on the target, but I will leave that to your discretion. So this is our final target, like I said, and the is a relatively easy one. We have two objectives for this one. We need to go and grab the intel files, but we need to, in regards to assassinating the target himself, is very, very easy. And we're actually going to lead him into this bathroom here a little bit later on. We're actually going to prioritize getting the intel files first. And they're going to be located in the director's office. So we need to go up there and go and grab those. That's why we brought along the scrambler along with us. Because the hospital wing and the director's office is all trespassing areas and cameras. And to getting in the director's you office, doing? you need however his disguise or a scrambler anyway. So that is why I brought along the scrambler. We're going to make our way through the spa area here, the hot spring, as you can call it. And we're going to make our way up to the hospital wing. Hopefully avoid some guards and try and get into the director's office. This bit can be a little bit annoying because there's a guard at the end of the corridor and there's two guards on the opposite side. We had to wait for them to move into position, that's why I had to do a little bit of a jog there. If you just walk, um, I'm sure he will, even when we ran there as you can see, he's coming over to inspect what he saw. And just like I said in the, in the previous mission, that uh, you need to not panic like I just did there. I panicked and I tried to get out of sight as quick as I could. He didn't spot us, uh, but he is still suspicious and that's why he came over to check what he saw. But it doesn't affect our rating rate like that. As long as you break the eye line of sight just before the suspicion meter completely fills up, you're completely fine. So if you are going to copy this as a strategy, just make sure you run all there all the way. And uh, just to get past that little section here. We're just waiting for this guard now to move out of the way. We've just retrieved the, the files from the computer as you just saw. And now we can make our way back down the stairs and go and take out the target. Hey, 
So because we got spotted by the cameras there, we may as well just make our way down to the bottom of the stairs. It's very easy to take out the evidence anyway. Not a big issue. It's just a tiny, uh, tiny little bit of a detour. That's it. Just drawing the evidence here, nice and easy. Make our way back up one floor and head towards our target, who, is, who, as you saw, was in the hot springs area. And he is basically currently waiting for us. And I'll let the, uh, the dialogue play out for that one so you can see how all this story unfolds and stuff. I've been trying my best to try and keep all the dialogue in with Diana and uh, the intels and the briefings and stuff like that. So hopefully you can appreciate that. That's what I'll try to include all the dialogue at the end. Again, this particular mission is a long one purely because, you know, although there's a lot of dialogue in it and there's not really much to do in regards to getting things done quickly. There's no point. It's not really much, uh, much issue here. So the target is going to be over here. Eventually, once he does finish his conversation, he will follow you and you're going to lead him to the bathroom. So here's the dialogue. A new face and not a staff transfer, I think. And it seems that no one knows that you are here. Your reputation is entirely deserved. It is an honor to meet a true professional. <coughs> I have been waiting for you. <coughs> and you are here in time. For that I am very thankful. It would have been inappropriate for me to die before you came for me. I am prepared. We were young men. Full of the arrogance of power. But what we did there in Siesta Polye, it was not a mistake. We did it willingly, we six. Sarno gave the orders, but we did it willingly. <coughs> Even I. We killed them and took the gold. One and a half tons of gold. Being <coughs> moved from Belgrade. Six trucks with refugees aboard to protect them from the airstrikes. <coughs> we killed them all. And then called in helicopter gunships on what was left. Ten million dollars was my share. It was only later that I realized <coughs> that I was no longer a man. <coughs> the others could not see it. Or perhaps would not see it. It haunted me for years until finally it became clear <coughs> that I must use my remaining time to atone. My old friend Loxley told me of the ICA and what you can do. <coughs> Cost was irrelevant. I placed all six contracts, and I watched as you carried them out. Then I fell ill. I feared that I would die before my time. Thankfully, your reputation for timeliness is entirely deserved. As you are aware, the staff have my files in safekeeping. They will destroy them in the event of an emergency. But I am sure you will not be noticed after we are finished here. <coughs> Arrangements have been made to publicize Mr. the files Jason widely. Portman. The actions Please of Sigma the hospital and entrance. Cicada must be known. Thank you for allowing you to, me to speak my piece, sir. That was for Mr. Please Jason complete Portman. the final contract now. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. So after the, the dialogue's played out, like I said, he will eventually follow you. Now he's just doing the sign of the cross on his chest there. And we're just going to wait for him to turn around so he can casually follow us. He does follow us very, very slowly as well, though. That's kind of annoying. But it's the, uh, it's, it's just, it is what it is, I suppose. Now, there is another way you can do this. Um, Realising this after the video I've done it, after they've done the clip. Is you can clear out this whole spa area by increasing the temperature with a wrench inside of the, uh, the sauna area. Where we came from the trespassing area if you remember and that will get rid of all everyone in the spring water and what we gotta do then is just basically close the doors behind us just so no one can see us take him out and then we can just kick him in the um down the mountain basically i didn't have to lead him to the bathroom or anything like that i only realized that now as i'm doing this i just thought about it and i thought that would have been a good plan i completely forgot i didn't realize at the time but either way this this will always work there's no there's no issues no no drama or anything like that. He does follow you anyway. It just can take a while because he just walks really, really slowly. As if he's got the same animation as if you know when you um, poison somebody, 
or with an emetic syringe or the emetic rat poison or whatever. He does the same animation when they're actually going to the bathroom, so head to the bathroom anyway. We're going to take him out in there, hide his body in the closet, and that is mission complete. So we're just going to head to the exit and then we're done. There's some more extra dialogue after with Diana, and we'll leave that in, and then I'll get back to you at the end. chain of contracts together, 47. All six targets were part of the Sigma Mercenary Unit, operating near the city of Siestopolia in Serbia in late 1995. They learned of a convoy transporting one and a half tons of gold out of Belgrade under cover of a refugee column. They attacked the convoy and stole the gold and called in a NATO airstrike. It was reported as an accidental attack at the time, a sideshow in that dirty conflict. Ironically, the final target was also the client. Complicated way to commit suicide, I'm sure. I have forwarded the files you retrieved as per the contract's instructions. I'm not sure what that will achieve, however. A wartime massacre in the 90s. Tough as those two. Fortune in gold. You should see her in the court. Then two decades later, bit... six men die. I don't know. One time? No one will notice like this. not comfortable in her own skin? Yeah, you saw how she dropped her fags off. It's just... So overall, that's it. That's everything done for the Sarajevo 6 contracts. That was like a tiny mini campaign that they included on the PS4 version of the game. I'm guessing Sony, uh, you know, pocket to give them, so to give them a little bit of money, give them a bit of a backhander to include this content for the PS4 version. Overall thoughts on this, uh, these six targets overall, it's not really worth it. So if anyone is going to be complaining about these targets not being on your platform, trust me, it's not entirely worth it anyway. They're basically six mini elusive targets with a tiny bit of backstory, and that's it. But like I said, elusive targets have that anyway, so they're nothing really special. I mean, I can understand people wanting to actually want to try these out. I mean, it's just content that's there that people can't have a go at, but I'm sure in the future, though, at some point, they'll release this. I don't know, I'm completely sure when, but uh, hopefully they do anyway and give everyone a chance of having a go at this. But that is all six missions done entirely with the Son Assassin suit only. I was a little bit worried here because it wasn't connecting to the server, it was a bit annoying. But this is Son Assassin suit only, so that's done. So again, hopefully you've all enjoyed this series. I've enjoyed doing it and creating it for you guys. And um, Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy the series. If you missed the first part, I'll again, I'll leave the playlist in the description of the first part. And that is pretty much going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching this series. Uh, drop a like again if you did enjoy the series. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel for more videos just like this and future live streams. Hit that bell notification to be notified of all future live streams and videos. And consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the link in the description and clicking join. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.